Hello everyone. Namaste. This is Kashma Amuja. So this video is particularly for all the Ho'oponopono lovers. Well, if you've been a Ho'oponopono lover just like me, if you've been applying the practice and the cleaning tools just like me, then these are a few tips for you to take your cleaning practice uh, far, far ahead. Ho'oponopono is essentially about surrender. So while we practice our cleaning tools, while we are cleaning rather than complaining, uh, it's very important to remind ourselves the purpose for the cleaning. And the purpose for every cleaning tool that you apply, the purpose for every practice and process of Ho'oponopono that you initiate is that you feel more and more like letting go. You feel like trusting God. So sometimes this could be difficult. Uh, it's not like a switch off and switch on button. So don't expect yourself to feel like you want to surrender just from day one. But be patient in the entire process. What do we do when we start getting worried? Well, firstly, you must understand that when you get worried, what are you demonstrating to God and to the universe? That you don't trust God and the universe. And so, such time, while you're applying the tool, you could simply repeat, Thy will be done. This demonstrates the power you have in the universe. This demonstrates the strength that you are willing to derive from God. Thy will be done. I love saying these words as I apply clean tools. One of my favorite tools, of course, is thank you. You can simply repeat thank you when something shows up. And when you add these little words, these magical words of thy will be done, life seems to be so beautiful. It starts to feel like everything is okay, that God's taking care of us. And trust me, God is. Do not forget, God has your back. This is Karishma Thank you so much for listening.